Hello, my name is Jim Yellowhawk. Um, I'm here today um, uh, working on a, a teepee design. It was uh, a project through the Smithsonian to work with uh, youth and the community. They call it community um, project, working with art project. Jim asked me to help facilitate the first day of his project to um, kind of get the youth orientated to what the project is and then to, to get them talking a little bit about themselves and who they are and uh, what art means to them and we, we had a couple art pieces that we focused on and, and got the, the youth talking about that. And specifically what we did there was um, we had two pieces of art, one uh, depicting a family in, in traditional Lakota understanding from, you know, maybe from a few hundred years ago with the teepee and uh, stars and the moon and a beautiful setting. And then the other piece of art was a more contemporary piece that uh, talked about the gang activity in, in many indigenous communities. So it was contrasting kind of what, what used to be and, and what can be right now or what is for a lot of people and, and particular, in particular a lot of youth. So we got them talking about that. My parents were in drugs and my brothers and sisters and they're all way older than me. And when I was younger I seen one of my brother pull a gun on my other brother. My mom had to stop him. I remember once I was in the house and someone came and shot up the house and ran because of my brother and his friends. I think gangs are really stupid. I just don't want to be like none of my siblings. Well, I'm 21 years old and I already have two children, a boy and a girl. And um, you hear all the stories about the families without the dad or, you know, one of the parents are gone. I just think it's a good representation of that and um, how a family should be united. And um, to me, the you know the warrior on the horse is you know fighting for his family. There's more to life than MTV. There's more to life than partying every weekend. My name is Peter Gibbs. Um, presently, I'm em employed by Sinti Glaske University down on the Rosebud Reservation, where I'm a Lakota Studies instructor. Um, there's an old saying I remember, I pulled off a movie one time, that in order to know where you're going, you've got to know where you've come from and who you are. And to me, with the Lakota culture, the ideal place to know where you come from is the teepee. So I've been working with the youth and we're gonna paint uh, designs that represent them in the individual um, boys and girls, and it's a it's a good thing for for myself and and uh, the Lakota Nation, you know, to to show, show something good, to give something back. Looks good. Yeah, thank you. Looks good. Uh, uh, well, I like it because it's really simple. Yeah. With the uh, pictograph and all that, uh, what I'm kind of shooting for, the TV design, and um, I'm just kind of curious what what does all this represent and what it means to you, um, um, to yourself. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my native culture is the medicine wheel. You know, underneath, um, below this basketball, I was a basketball player, and that was a big part of my life. And mm. coaches kept me out of trouble. Trouble and. Um, 
Originally, I made it to represent that, but also I used to have the feathers coming downwards mm -hmm. instead and had some rest in peace <laughs> symbols to a couple of my basketball teammates who committed suicide. Oh, is that right? Oh. Back at home. Yeah. So the feathers used to come down, but mm -hmm. since I had limited space, um, I just had the spotted, spotted eagle feathers wrap around it. And it kind of makes it a, a little more unique than the mm. typical. Mm. Mm. Art piece here. This is a Thunderbird. Okay. Um, I don't think it really has any significant meaning to it, um, other than it's uh, what um, my ancestors would have drew, I guess, on their teepees. So that's why you chose it. Mm -hmm. Representing it the, like uh, represents like power, like you f like power within, not outside, okay. kind of. Yeah, makes sense. So, yeah. what what is this whole project? mean to you that you were selected to um, be here and to be painting a symbol on our Ateapi tipi? It was, at first, I was like, no way, freaking out. I was pretty excited. Um, to me, just like leaving, like leaving your mark, kind of. Like, I don't know how to really explain it. It's like, because my brothers and sisters will grow up through Ateapi because they'll go. And then they'll say, oh, my sister drew that, or she did that, so I want to do it. Kind of like, I feel like I have shoes to feel in the role model area. Very good. Yeah.